I welcome you to Pakistan, uh, your second home. You've been here before. Your last trip was a resounding success. And this trip will be remembered for a long time. Because today, you've come to Pakistan after having chaired a special session of the General Assembly. Unusual times, lingering uh, COVID-19 pandemic in New York, bombardment in Gaza, innocent people being killed and maimed, the Security Council failing to reach a consensus in four consecutive meetings, and the international community, the OIC, the Arab group, and the non-aligned movement collectively looking towards you to play a role, a leadership role, to protect innocent civilians and to save and uphold the credibility of the UN system. Mr. President, you did that. We are proud of you. And I'm not saying this as the Foreign Minister of Pakistan. I speak on behalf of OIC. And my country is one of the founding members of OIC. So we are thankful to you for the leadership that you provided. When the President <coughs> decided to convene this special session, he was of the view that we'll start at 10 and we'll close at 1. He had no idea what was waiting. 103 registrations came, and he realized it's not possible to uh, wrap it up in three hours. It would not be possible to wrap it up in 12 hours. So he extended the session, and there was a two-day session. But the significance of this special session was that while in the midst of the debate, when we were meeting in the uh, trusteeship hall, the news came in of a ceasefire. And the objective that has taken me and other foreign ministers to New York ladies and gentlemen, was achieved. And the idea was cessation of hostilities, and thanks to your intervention and your leadership, we achieved that. And another unusual step of a, of a tall man in, 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 in intellect, <laughs> the president, he sets new precedents and makes a presidential statement. Normally they don't, but you did. Normally there's no podium set up by the UN for foreign ministers like myself to go and address the press at the UN, uh, at, the, at the General Assembly. He set a new president, and I was the first foreign minister to avail that opportunity Thank you for doing so. I also <coughs> had the pleasure of meeting, uh, besides the President, the Secretary General of the UN. He also made an opening statement uh, on this uh, uh, evolving crisis. And I must uh, uh, thank him for his contribution. Uh, what we expect, Mr. President, from you and the Secretary General is to continue to play that leadership role and initiate the peace process. What we've achieved is the first milestone. But what we need and the nation and, and the Ummah is looking up to is a, a revival of the peace process. Because this is a simmering issue. The fire 
has not yet been fully extinguished. Please play your role to extinguish the fires. And the only way this fire will be extinguished is through dialogue, an understanding of peaceful coexistence, and a two-state solution in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. And to ensure, play your role to ensure that timely humanitarian assistance is provided to the Palestinians uh, and those affected uh, in, in this, uh, under this uh, aggression. I intend to get in touch with the Egyptian Foreign Minister, and I also want to uh, acknowledge the constructive role played by Egypt, the leadership, President Sisi, and yesterday, last night, Prime Minister Imran Khan had a very good conversation with President Sisi. Uh, they discussed the situation and uh, what needs to be done in the days ahead. I had the opportunity of hosting uh, the president, but taking advantage of his presence in Islamabad, I briefed the president on the dire situation in the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. And I drew his attention and the attention of the Secretary General of the similarities between the Palestinian situation and the Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir situation. What are they talking about? Self-determination. What are the Palestinians demanding? Protect us from demographic restructuring. What are they saying? Human rights are being violated. International law is being violated. <laughs> you made us promises. They're broken promises. Innocent people are being killed. Help us, protect us. Electricity, water supplies have been affected. Hospitals have been bombed. Red Cross has been targeted. So play, play your role and protect us. What are people in Jammu and Kashmir saying? Palestinians are saying, Security Council, we are on the agenda. We are an agenda item for over seven decades. The President, what are the Kashmiris saying? We are on the agenda of the Security Council for over seven decades. Pay attention. These are international obligations. UN must play that role of responsibility that is due. I also had the opportunity to brief the President on the evolving situation in Afghanistan and the role Pakistan has played in facilitating the peace process and pushing the reconciliation process forward. I briefed him on a very useful trilateral meeting between Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Turkey uh, that was convened in Istanbul. And Pakistan is supportive of the Istanbul process and the international conference that should, in my view, take place at the earliest in Istanbul. We will do whatever we can to play our role. And today, I was pleased, and I want the nation of Pakistan to know that. When I met the Secretary General, he said, there is a paradigm shift. He said that today, the international community is looking at Pakistan not as part of the problem. The international community is looking at Pakistan as part of the solution. And that is the dramatic shift that has taken place in the last 
uh, I would say, a uh, couple of years. And I must give credit to the leadership of Prime Minister Imran Khan for that. I also briefed him on Pakistan's point of view on the UN reform and the Security Council uh, reform. And also, the initiative of the Prime Minister for debt restructuring, suspension of uh, debt, to enable the develop developing world to have resources to invest in strengthening their fragile uh, healthcare structure. Mr. President, thank you. Thank you for your time. And uh, we always look forward uh, to your coming to Pakistan. Uh, you are a friend of Pakistan. And in our humble way, today, after uh, this function, in a investiture ceremony, we will be acknowledging that and recognizing your services and the services of the UN system. Thanks, sir.